What's up guys? Momo Jiri's here and welcome to the channel. I do right now a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and if you like what I'm doing please leave a like, comment below and tell me what part of the support today is your favorite. So we have a bunch of new support for sous ships which is so great. I think I'm gonna main think that. I don't care what kind of deck it is if it's competitive or not. I'm playing sushi. Then we have new support for Magic Keys, Speed Roids, and some off-branded uh, Blackwing support, which is just Wing Beast support, which could help the deck out in a little way. So, we're going to see what's happening. And if you like the layout, guys, please tell me down below. And, you know, all that good stuff. So, let's get into it. The first card we're going to talk about today is from the Suship Archetype. Now, we have Uni no Gukan, or Urchin Suship. It is a level 5. Fire Aqua Effect Monster. 900 attack, 500 defense. I love the whole Fire Aqua stuff. It's great. Alright. You can reveal one other sushi card in your hand. Spread some discard from your hand. Then apply these effects based on the revealed card. If you reveal Rice Sushi, spare summon the revealed monster. Otherwise, place the revealed monster on the bottom of the deck. Huh. So, reveal sushi, a sushi card in your hand. Then special summon from your hand this card. Then apply. If it's Rice Sushi Ship, you also summon Rice Sushi Ship, which is cool. Um, interesting. You can target one Sushi Ship monster you control. It becomes level 4 or 5. Then you can add one Rice Sushi Ship from your deck to your hand. Huh. Wait, you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Huh, you can use both of them in the same turn. Okay. Then we have... Shi Rao no Gukan, or Ice Fish Sushi. Okay. It is a level 4 Fire Aqua Effect Monster with 200 attack and 250 defense. Uh, if you control Rice Sushi or an Exceed Monster that has Rice Sushi as material, spread some discard from your hand. During your main phase, you can spread some one Sushi from your hand, except Ice Fish Sushi. Then you can place any number of Rice Sushi from your deck or graveyard on top of the deck in any order. Okay. Interesting. Then we have Ch Kyo no Chou Doku Gukan Unigati Nikan Kai Niban Kan Super Dreadnought Suship Urchin Class Second Ward Ish Ward Dish is a let link a rank five fire aqua effect monster twenty nine hundred attack five hundred defense really weak defense. Materials are two level fives. If this card exceeds them, apply these effects based on monsters as material. If you use Rice Sushi, draw a card. Urchin Sushi, this card can attack directly. 2900. Once per turn during your main phase or opponent's battle phase, you can target face of cards your opponent controls up to a number of your Sushi monsters, spread them from the extra deck. Negate their effects. Okay, okay. And then we have Kuhan Gukan. Shirau Gato Gata Tokumu. Kan. Carrier Sushi, Ice Fish Class Auxiliary Dish. A rank 4 Fire Aqua Effect Monster. 2200 attack, 250 defense. These defense are lacking. Uh, if this card is Exceed Summon, apply this effect based on materials for Exceed Summon. Rice Sushi, draw a card. Ice Fish Sushi, add one Sushi Spell or Trap for card from your deck to your hand. While this card is faced in the field, wait, while there is a face of card in the field zone, your Sushi. Monster special from the extra that cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also, they gain attack equal to their original defense. But that's so weak. Like, this guy only gains 250 defense. This guy only gains 500 at attack. What? Whatever. Um, can we see what kind? I think that's like a spicy salmon roll. The urchin class. And that one just looks like seaweed cucumbers and noodles interesting okay now let's get into the magic keys apparently we're getting some new support let's see what it is okay now the first one is greater magic key mafta it is a level 4 light fiend tuner effect monster. 600 attack, 600 defense. You're going to use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Cannot be used for a synchro material or exceed material except for a magic key monster. Okay. If you control a magic key monster, reveal this card in your hand, and it's a fiend tuner effect monster. 
If you control a magic key monster, reveal this card in your hand. During your main phase, you can normal summon one magic key monster in addition to a normal summoner set. Huh? You don't have to normal summon this guy first. Okay. If this card is normal summon, you can target one level four or lower. Normal monster or magic key monster in the graveyard, special summon in defense. Wow. Okay. Level eight toolbox. Then we have Mu Ken Henki Transfumine. Magic key mutated ogre. Transfumine. At level 8, Fire Thunder. Da -thunder. Uh, synchro Effect Monster. 2,900 Attack, 2,900 Defense. Now, that's how you do defense, guys. Sushi. Watch out. You need a Magic Key Tuner and one or more non-tuner normal monsters. Okay. This card can make up to two attacks on monster in each battle phase. During your main phase, if you control this card, special some using monsters with two or more different attributes as material. Set one Magic Key Spell or Trap card from your deck to your spell and trap cards on directly. Huh. Two or more different, I mean, you only need two. Okay. Let's see. Then we have Mu Ma Ken Hyore, the part two. Magic key possess spirit, we part two. It is a rank four water sea serpent effect monster, generic, only needs two level four monsters. If this card succeeds summon detachable material, add one level four or higher normal monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Dark magician, blue eyes, anyone? Red eyes? If this card has a normal monster as material, it gains its effect. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster the same attribute as a normal monster and or magic monster in your graveyard, detach material, make your opponents send their battling monster to the graveyard. Wow. 2000 attack, just send it. Okay. Uh, spell card. Then we have Ma Kenjo Tosu Tosau. Magic Key Battle. It's a quick play. Target one normal monster, Magic Key Monster, or Magic Key Motif in your graveyard. Shuffle it to your deck. Then, if you activate this in response to activation of an opponent's card or effect, non token normal monsters and Magic Key Monsters you currently control are unaffected by that opponent's effect. Huh. So, your opponent Lightning Storms. Use this. Shuffle. And you're good. Okay. Makinjo lock. Magic key locking lock. It's a lock that locks. Locking light. Tribute one non token normal monster or magic key monster, then target up to two normal monsters and or magic key monsters in the graveyard who sell level equal eight or less. Special summon them and then either synchro or exceed. Huh. So tribute a magic key, then take two normal monsters and or magic key monsters in the graveyard, bring them back, synchro or exceed. I like it. Okay. Is it, magic Key doesn't have... Oh, no. That's the Exceed and that's the Synchro. Okay. Magic Key's going to be one hell of a deck. And it's like a ritual-based deck. I like it. Okay. Next, we're going to get into uh, Speedroid card. Speedroid Scratch. Uh, it's a normal spell card. You can send one Speedroid card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one Speedroid monster from your deck to your hand. Meat. Okay. Okay. Then, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all the Wing Beast support at this point, but if not, we're going to get o go over at least this card, which is really nice. It is called Tu Tsubasa no On Gashi. Tsubasa no Ugashi. Ungashi. It is also called Wing Recital. It's a normal spell card. You're going to activate one of these per turn. If you control two or more monsters with different original names and no non wing based monsters, base 600 light points, draw two. Huh. And this is real. I mean, it it's perfect wing beast support. I mean, black wings, I'm telling you, we need draw cards besides the Lord of Darkness. And this is great. Just have two wing beasts, draw two for free by paying 600 light points. But it's still free, basically. It's a really, really, really nice card. I like it. Okay, so that is all the support, guys, for today. Please tell me how you feel about all of it in the description, in the comment section below. I will have a deck profile coming out for you guys soon with Blackwing support and replays, hopefully, in the coming days. I might be going uh, somewhere this weekend. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But please, if you made it this far into the video, put hashtag Crow Gang in the comment section below, guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Like the video. Donate if you can. All the links are down below. And as always, guys, I'll catch you later.
Come on!